Every journey has its final day. Don't they must have left the tea house by now. Let me know if you find anything out. <laughs> I just how can you be so cruel to Miss Yoon? Keep your voice down. Whatever you got to say, it can wait until we're out of earshot. We'll both be in hot water if Yunjin finds out. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Why can't you get it into your head? Quit asking dull questions and start thinking about how to win over our readers. Do I make myself clear? I don't think you realize what a golden opportunity you have here. How many journalists would give anything they had to trade places with you right now? Huh? Ever think about that? You... you just don't get it! Miss Yun has put her heart and soul into... Enough! Stop yelling in public! Or do you want Miss Yun to hear about all the lies you're spreading about her? <gasps> Me? You're the one making everything up! Ah, well, you sure seem pretty happy chatting to her, so don't act like you ain't a part of this. And don't forget the contract you signed. Ah, come. We'll continue our little chat over there. You need to listen and learn, young lady. I... I... <laughs> Are you ready to stop whining now? Do you have any idea how rare an opportunity like this is for a small-time paper like ours? Just think of the sales if we can get an exclusive. <laughs> We'd have enough to cover your salary for two lifetimes. But, but what about us pretending to be from the Steambird? Aren't you worried she'll find out? <laughs> you really think she still would have talked to you if I hadn't told that little white lie? Hmm? Besides, what have you got to be afraid of? As long as we make it sound like an eyewitness account, how will she be able to refute it? Heck, if she actually presses the issue, I'll probably have to thank her for keeping it current for me. <laughs> <sighs> this is horrible. I will not let you treat Miss Yun like this. <sighs> I don't know who she thinks she is anyway. Oh, I sang a couple of shows, so now I'm a national superstar. Give me a break. No one wants to read about your sopranos or your falsettos. We give the readers what they want. That's how this business works. Case in point, that blonde gal seemed to be getting along pretty well with Yun Jin. There's definitely a story there, even if there isn't. Ugh, that's enough. I'm reporting you to the Millilith. Report me? What for? Libel? Identity theft? <laughs> Good luck with that. I haven't written anything. Where's your proof? I... I... You'd better tread carefully, Missy. First you neglect your own duties, and now you're trying to get in the way of mine? You signed the contract. You know full well the consequences. If you sabotage this interview, I will make sure you lose everything you have. I will ruin you. You understand? Why? Why did I sign that contract? Who's there? Oh, it's you. What do you want? I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid or I'll, uh... I'll spread a lovely little story about you and Yunjin throughout all of Liyue. Wait a second. I was so focused on Miss Yun earlier that I didn't notice who it was. Huh? What are you talking about? She's the traveler. You know, the one who even the Chi Sing will listen to. What the? Oh, 
What have I gotten myself into? Uh, uh, no, no need to get all worked up here. Uh, what, what we, what we meant was, uh, was, uh, 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 yes, quite right. You are quite right. I'm disappearing into thin air as we speak. Just my luck. I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. <sighs> but I'm so ashamed. I don't know how I could face Miss Yun now. So please, please pass on my apologies to her. Did you find anything out? I see. Well, it's not unexpected. It's just a bit of a shame that I didn't get to talk with Shiryun for longer. She genuinely understands opera and has a passion for it. That's not something you can act. If I had the chance to talk with her more in depth, it could well provide me with some fresh inspiration. Yoon Jean, you did you agree to another interview without notifying me? These tabloid types are total scumbags, all of them. Who knows what innocent detail he might end up turning into the next big scandal. Sure, nothing might have come of it today, but who knows where it'll go tomorrow. <sighs> Short of catching them all in their lair in one fell swoop, who knows when this is going to end? <sighs> I'm sorry. I was careless on this occasion. Well, wallowing isn't going to solve anything. Come on, go tell everyone in the troop to be extra cautious during this time. Ugh, <sighs> Geo Lord bless us. Spare us any more offstage drama. <laughs>